Hi again, Dr. Velziki. Thank you for uh, coming back again for another case. So this is case number one of our series of five-minute cases. Let us know what it is about, please. Okay, 2009. This uh, young lad was 13 years old, five or six days before his bar mitzvah, and he had sustained a blow to the mouth and broke off the edges of the centrals. I was to attend this bar mitzvah. I got a call from the, pay from the parents in a panic, please fix him up. So he came in, I placed some material over the uh, dentin, etched and placed two composite resins. And the bar mitzvah went off without a, without a, a hitch. He had orthodontics done uh, over the intervening years. And you can see the two retentive wires. As he got older in 2015, I would like it to look better. I'm going off to university at some point. And I said, look, let's put these things off until you're a little bit older, you know, 20, 21, 22. And you can see the orthodontic wire that was here that was placed. 2018, and we're now ready to move ahead. He had different uh, retentive wires here of a different configuration. There was a little break here. I don't know whether that was purposeful or whether it just broke from fatigue. There you can see the occlusion. So I, whatever I put here, I have to worry about retention of the incisors. That was made clear to me by the orthodontist. So two splinted zirconia crowns were delivered. Uh, there's no embrasure space here. So I did take the time using carborundum discs to refine this. But more importantly, I made sure, and I've done this in the past, to have a trough here, a physical trough in the framework that I can park some wire and then cover it with composite resin. Otherwise, it's difficult to have something stick to zirconia and overlay porcelain. So I, it's kind of difficult to see, but here, I've got one wire on the lingual surface covered in composite resin. There's that trough, put the other wire in on the models because it's easy to do this on the models, then take it to the mouth and just tap it on that side and turned out very nicely and everybody was happy. He returned uh, about a year later and he'd broken off some of the porcelain here. And I knew right away it was probably an issue with uh, the overlay porcelain not being supported enough by the zirconia. But he was quite happy with this retentive setup. Noticing some refinements I wanted to make, um, bringing out incisal edges. So this is a neat way using photographs to communicate with the lab. I sectioned through the zirconia and I could see there's the core material and that, that's the weakness too much unsupported overlay porcelain. So a new set of crowns was made, got a little cleaner and slicker in doing this. And we ended up in 2019 cementing it in. He came in last week and the gentleman is thrilled and so am I. So that's just a neat way to incorporate long-term orthodontic wire retention with crown and bridge work in the anterior. Perfect. It's a trick. Be beautiful work as usual. Thank you so much, Dr. Belziki. You're welcome.